Hello, gardening friends. Welcome to the Weekend Gardener. I'm John Dromgool. Well, it's been raining a lot, hasn't it? You almost forget that we have a drought going on. And the best quality water is what falls from the sky. There's a company here in town that bottles rainwater, and, uh, but they go through a long process of purification. And this is uh, essential. You can't drink water out of the rain barrels that you collect water in at home. Did you know that with a one inch rain, you can collect 600 gallons of water on a thousand square foot roof? That's a lot of water. Matter of fact, it begins to run away. Here's a locally made tank that has uh, no chemicals on the inside, no BPAs. And this is a, a very nice one because when this one fills up, then the water moves over to the next one. And then if you wanted a third one, well, you keep connecting them. But this is a metal one and uh, a very nice one and locally made. Here's another one that has some cosmetics to it. And this is a 90 gallon container. So um, it looks good in the backyard. Some people want to make sure that the yard is attractive. And this does a very good job of doing that. And it works very, very well. Here's another one that's locally made. These metal tanks from Texas Metal Tanks, I think are really attractive in the yard. Matter of fact, um, these are some of the prettier metal ones that I've seen out there. One of the nice things about this is that base that you can make. That's a good way to show it off in the yard, keep it up off the ground, and um, fill your watering cans. Once again, this is not for drinking. There are many other options when it comes to rain barrels, and some of these are food grade, others are cosmetic once again, and the main thing is they all collect a little bit of rainwater, the gold standard of water, in your backyard for your garden. For the Weekend Gardener, I'm John Dromgool. I'll see you next time.